Hello everyone. So I'm upgrading or expanding my RAID 5 array and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So first of all, this is the Mega RAID Storage Manager software. I've got the the LSI Mega RAID or Mega SAS RAID card, the 9261-8i. And this Mega RAID can hold up to 8 hard disks, hard disk drives. So I'm using the WD RED HDDs the three terabytes ones and as you can see in the picture here on the software I'm using four, uh, four of them right now for a total of eight terabytes actually in RAID 5 you lose one one of the hard disks so the, the total would be only uh, for three of them so it'd be 8.185 actually it's supposed to be nine but um, the the rating on the on the storage or the size is not accurate so yeah, the total is 8.185. As you can see in here, I'm already <laughs> um, almost filling this this side. So um, I want to expand it. Uh, actually, I'm expanding it right now as we speak. I've got two more hard disks yesterday, and here uh, now you can see that the total drives is six. And in this picture here, on this usage uh, area, you can see that the total capacity is 16 terabytes or 16.37 terabytes. Uh, this is the total for six uh, drives, each is uh, three terabytes. It's actually supposed to be 18, but as I said, it's not it's not very accurate. So, anyways, now I've started the the reconstruction of the RAID array. I've actually started yesterday. You can see here that I've only reached 17% completion the reason for this is because reconstruction takes around 69 more hours you can see that I've already spent 14 hours yesterday doing this so I've left the PC on the whole day actually I do leave it on the whole week or the whole month so it doesn't matter really so you can see it's a, it's a very uh, time-consuming task so uh, one thing in particular that I'm worried about is what if my PC shut down, shuts down when uh, in the middle of the process. So I'm I'm not that worried because I think the the RAID card itself has its own uh, processor and and uh, battery backup unit. So even if the PC shut down, it still saves the data or like has uh, save an image to so it can continue later. So one thing in, part in particular that happened before, uh, before doing my RAID 5 array, I've had uh, I was running some tests on the um, on the RAID uh, card. So one thing I tried is I had two hard disks, and um, I've uh, I've had them on RAID 0. So then um, I wanted to modify it to a RAID 5 and add an extra, an additional hard disk. So when I did it, um, it was taking like around a whole day to finish the process from RAID 0 to RAID 5 however I didn't wait the whole time so I just um, closed it and um, restarted the computer and to my surprise the the task continued normally without any problems so that was um, reassuring uh, another thing that I really liked about this is that uh, it is an online reconstruction so it means that you can still access the, the disks even if the process is is going in the background so you can see uh, like um, uh, go to movies for example let's open everything uh, Argo for example so we can see that um, it's running normally I can watch it without any problems so that's actually cool so I thought I would share this with you guys so you can see how long of a task is it takes and also how superior um, rate cards are uh, hardware rate cards and no, in uh, opposite to uh, what's called software rate cards. So yeah, that's about it. Um, hopefully, um, I won't have to upgrade soon. Though I think I will. Yeah, one thing I also forgot to mention that this rate card can hold up up to eight drives maximum. However, with the with the usage of uh, expansion cards, I can increase it to thirty two or as it says in the in the box that the rate card came with but I'm not really sure about this so um, until I reach 8 I'm gonna have to stick with this one and see what happens 
if you liked what you saw please uh, subscribe like share or whatever i right, see you